What is a reflex arc? When our hand is in contact with a hot surface, we pull away immediately without thinking. This is an example of reflex action. The impulse during a reflex action is traveling through a specific pathway consisting of a series of neurons called the reflex arc. To make it easy, there are five major components that make up the reflex arc. One, receptor. A receptor is a cell or organ that can detect an external stimulus. In this case, it's the skin. Two, sensory neuron. It carries the stimulus in the form of an impulse towards the spinal cord. It may also involve the brain. 3. Intermediate neuron, also called relay neuron, carries the impulse within the central nervous system. 4. Motor neuron, carries the impulse away from the central nervous system towards the effector. 5. Effector, parts of the body that respond to the stimulus in the first time by carrying out the required action. This can be a muscle or a gland. Between one neuron and another, there are synapses to transfer the signal. When the signal arrives, the neurotransmitter containing vessels will open through a complex sequence. The neurotransmitter, which may vary in substances, then moves to the synaptic cleft and arrives at the receptor molecule at the other end. Some drugs, like heroin, will alter this sequence and affect our brain. Now, let us consider what happens when we step on a sharp object. As in the example before, a sensory neuron carries an impulse of pain to an intermediate neuron in the spinal cord. The intermediate neurons connects with motor neurons in the leg that is in pain and pulls our foot away from the sharp object. However, if that was all that happened, we would probably fall over. The intermediate neuron also connects with motor neurons, which control the muscles of the other leg. These muscles will make adjustments so that we can better position our next step to avoid falling. The intermediate neuron also connects to yet other neurons to carry the information about what has happened to the brain. So, we become conscious of what has happened and can take further voluntary action. Reflex arcs also govern a number of common body responses, especially those which are repeated. For example, breathing, blinking, heartbeat, sweat gland secretion, etc. Take a breath in right now and see how this works. As you breathe in, stretch receptors in the lungs stimulate. The receptors in your reflex arc, which inhibit inspiration, activate and prevent the lungs to not stretch far enough to cause damage. Then, after we finish inhaling, the expiratory neurons fire and expiration occurs. Normal breathing is thus maintained in part by a series of reflex actions. To conclude, we will quickly recap two often confusing terms reflex action and the reflex arc. A reflex is a fast, automatic response to a stimulus, and a reflex arc is a route taken by an impulse to carry out a reflex action.